professionalism, go. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to something completely different. Not my name for the topic, but basically tonight we are going to do a podcast again with a discussion. I am joined by first of all Mr. Jordan Harris. Hello. And Jordan and will be providing entertainment on screen because you are doing what, Jordan? Um, Euro Truck Simulator 2, doing a job from Felix Stowe through to Swansea. Right, and also joining us tonight will be Mr. Callum Steenmeister Reed. Hello, I'm also in control of the um, base of the DJ tonight. <laughs> yes, you're providing all the sounds when we need them. You are a soundboard yes. expert. Hello. Well, I'm going to say you are. I wouldn't use the word expert, but you know. Well, yeah, more like a amateur, to be honest. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Right, there are right. a lot worse words I could use, but I'm, I'm going to try and be clean. Bye. Well, like the words, uh, for example, used by Brian Blessed in this case. Sorry, yeah, I, I couldn't resist that. Take the whole serious note of the complaint. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we've drawn up a plan, haven't we, of the way this thing will work? Ooh. Yes, I have a plan. Well, you can't see. Hang on, what we can hear, though, is that I have a notepad in my hand with all the plans. I haven't got a notepad, though. I've got one, but it doesn't fit my desk properly yet, so you can't see my face. Yay. Up probably yours. Not, probably not a bad thing, you can't see his face. Do you want to live to the end of his podcast, sir? No, not really. No, go on. No, I see. Right, so we have a list of topics in one of our piece of paper. And uh, where do we pick one? Where do we pick it? Oh, yeah, maybe we just start off with something, a random fact of the day. Well, not random fact. On this day in history that we recorded, the internet is 25 years old. Oh. It's the 21st of August 2016. So, yeah, I'm going to throw that fact in there in case you didn't really point me that one already, but yeah. Well, if we're going on with random facts, there's another one. What is the most popular, or well, what David Bowie song was most popular in America? Yeah, I know, I'm afraid of Americans. <laughs> Which <laughs> the irony very... of that. He's afraid of Americans. The song's I'm popular. I'm afraid of Americans, or however it goes. I, have, I, I don't have, I'm afraid I'm of the not world. I'm going to sing it. I, I don't have that song on the soundboard. Oh, you missed not. We do copyright strikes here. Yeah. Basically, basically, if you haven't heard of any Google of Danny Bowie's on the phone in American, it's really good song. Oh, get out the way, you cock jobber. <laughs> 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 you know. Sorry about that. You swear uh, you the AI, I'm guessing, Mr. Yes. Alright, oh, yo. This is, this is why you don't let ferrets drive. <laughs> <laughs> so, on my list, in no particular order, what do you pick for? Movies! Movies, right. Um, Anyone seen any good movies recently? Or any not movies recently. Uh, recently I've been watching a lot of crap and sky movies because nothing recently has been, that's been released has been good. Suicide Squad, and the refuse for that are quite crap. Yeah, I told me. Um, the problem with DC's list is that Marvel spent ages building up the entire character backstories. Then you had back backstory to Iron Man. You've got the Hulk backstory, Cap's backstory. Thor's backstory, and then they brought more together in the Avengers. As in, you oh, know yeah. how everyone got to be where they were. The problem with Suicide Squad was there was no, from my case, there's no backstory. So it's like they threw these characters into the universe and said, get on with the mission. But we don't know how that, the characters came to be where they I were was, in the first place. I was more referring to the, um, uh, there's a lot of reviews saying that the acting from the actors themselves was brilliant, but the, the editing the was film, awful. Not, not only the editing, but the uh, writing and the directing itself was yeah. shockingly crap. But well, I said, from a point, I said DC had completely decided to just jump in and try catch up with Marvel. And the only way yeah. you can get as good as Marvel or better is to do exactly what Marvel's done. You have exactly. to build up the backstories before you bring everyone together. It doesn't work otherwise. Well. What will happen soon is that I can see DC Comics going right. This is not working. I think we need to just re. We, need, we just need to reboot the universe somehow. We, we just need to press that restart button on the. the go back universe. and make the films again. Because exactly. Marvel had to do that at one point because Marvel films weren't working. So went back and rebooted it. Exactly. Saying that the reboot, I did not like the Fantastic Four reboot. 
Have the first two were good, it. but the problem is you can't use the original cast of Fantastic Four to, re to make the franchise work. Yeah. Because they recast one of the Fantastic Four into the Avengers. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that won't work at all. No, but basically, I'm guessing you've seen the original Fantastic Four? Uh, one of them, a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, so you'll probably have noticed, if you haven't already, then you might want to borrow my glasses, that first you played, oh, what's his name now, the human talk, Johnny Storm, is oh. it? Oh, yeah. I yeah, you know, I know Sue Storm and Johnny, yeah. So basically, yeah. Chris Evans, not the good Chris Evans, may I add. Not the crap, uh, <laughs> No, not, not, the, not the ginger who tries to take over top here. <laughs> Fail. That, that yeah. will come up later on the podcast, by the way. More than likely, they will come back to that. Anyway, so yeah, Chris Evans, the actor, originally played the Human Torch, now plays Captain America. Yeah. So yeah. that's why yeah, that won't work. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, I did like the reboot, the Fantastic Four. It could be better. Um, I think the most recent... But I really one... like where the Avengers universe has gone. It's so yeah. intense. That you think linked together and I love that. The whole bit you can like, watch and go, you can watch and go, oh, you know what, that's referencing to now. Yeah. So you, there's a homage, it's like, oh, I know that. It just, if you just watch all the films, you'll go, oh, I know that's a reference. I know that's a reference. Exactly. And what about Marvel? They do really good. Is he post credits a little bit of video after? Yeah. <laughs> He's always got something clever after the credits. Well, I suppose that's just a way, their way of going, right, we've, we've still got a couple of million dollars left of budget. Let's just blow it on the credits. <laughs> yeah. We do it so well. Yeah. But I love. And another thing I've seen recently, have you seen it, the new Star Trek film? I haven't seen the new Star Trek film. No, I did love that actually, I have to say. Um, uh, to be honest, but J.J. Uh, Abrams and oh, I wanted to go this new film, I can't remember his name. And it's supposed to be really, really bad, I have to Google it, but he did a really good job. What I love is they... Um, what I like is what they've done is not the original cast, it isn't the original cast had this terrible habit during the days of Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and then the one we don't talk about, Enterprise, of oh, trying God. to back around in the timeline and make things within the story, try and make sense in, oh yeah, we'll do this, this and this and this. Like, stop messing with the universe, if you want to change it, restart it. See? That's what Abrams is, basically, I, I want my own Star Trek universe, I want to create things my way, so where's it going to go back to where it begins and kill it off? If you haven't seen it already, then, I well, apologize, the, the spoiler first... alert. If you haven't seen a film that came out in 2009, I have. I've seen that one. Yeah, it's basically you know, they literally went back right to the start to where before Kirk's born, which when the yep. film starts, Kirk isn't born, yep. and changed the entire history of Kirk going in Star joining 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 yes, joining <laughs> <He's coining laughs> Starfleet. joining Starfleet. Yes, apologise. This very his beer is not going to affect me. Ten percent beer. He's recording. He's I'm recording under the influence. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll be under the influence of alcohol dr by driving in a minute. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, that's going to be fun to watch back. So, yeah. Right. Anyway, when I get to, yeah, basically, you restart the universe and then you can do what the hell you want with it then. And that's what yeah. I love about Abrams has done, basically. Let's go back, let's do what the hell I want with it. I, I do like his, the way he's done that, however, I've never really been a big, big fan of the Star Trek. What, what I do love design. as well is that if anyone's seen the original series, which I'm now. Oh, I'm guessing even you two have. No. The, the, the actor they brought in matched perfectly to the original cast. Because you've got the whole perfect relationship between between McCoy and Kirk. No, yeah, McCoy and Kirk. So then you've got McCoy and Spock. There's yeah. always this love hate relationship, like a Plutonic thing going on. And the new actors have matched up perfectly yeah. to the way DeForest Kelly and Leonard Nimoy did. I and I love the little homage they paid there in that film to. Then Nemoy as well, like yeah. in a new one. Paying a nice little homage. And so, yeah, I've got to have a hat to the right, so that was brilliant. Yeah. I loved it. It does help that well, the writers for the Star Trek films, the new ones anyway, are, we're all Star Trek fans themselves. Exactly. Including Simon Pegg, who's also, who also plays Scotty. Plays that one, because the Scottish actor's brilliant, to be honest. He's brilliant. I mean, they played that part, so I said, they, the cast plays the parts, and the people they've matched up play the part so well. I mean, they really do. Yeah, I mean, um, I've never really been a big fan of Star Trek to, be, to begin with, and I don't think the new doesn't change that, just per se. I mean, 
I, I've always preferred Star Justin Wars. Lin, that's it, that's his name, Justin Lin. Justin a really Lin. good job. Because JJ didn't do this one because he was doing the new Star Wars film. Yes, uh, Force Awakens. Wait, the Force Awakens or are we talking about the Rogue One? Force Awakens. Force Awakens. Force Awakens has been made, I think, the same time Star Wars has been finished. I think it was. Yeah, I think, they were doing, I think both have been made simultaneously. The JJ that had it over Justin Lin and shit. Yeah. Because he that, was doing. I did like that. I think that's the best Star Wars we've had in a long time. Oh yeah, it's definitely it's not as good. The as prequels the had their moments, but overall the storylines are weak. It's not as good as the um the trilogy as the original trilogy was four five you'll six. Never, but no. You'll never get as good as that, but the it's but it, it was, was better, better than what we had to cope with before. It was better than what one, two, and three when um, George Lucas. Those films had so much potential. It's it like did, and George potential Lucas there. just threw. He just ruined a whole load of politics. It's like we're not interested. We want to see people fight. We want the story, not politics. Yes, the story. Yeah. But they would have both had a storyline and a politics behind it. But there was they... too much time spent in the Senate and too much debate in political. You know, seen that for my liking. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, and sort of don't... times it, it pulled away from the storyline. They had the moments when they were good, but the most of the storyline just went off thinking. What's that could yeah. do with the rest of the film? It's not relevant. Why is it in there? Because George Lucas was something for filler, I think. I, I want to filler. I don't have that on <laughs> my soundboard either. This filler, anyway. Is it yes. polyfiller? Yes. Um, oh, the poly uh, filler. Don't forget I everyone's most hated character in any of the Star in the Star Wars film. Star Wars. Yep. What's most annoying and most. <laughs> That's what? Need more, that's what? 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 The big, the, the, big, the big boxy thing you know, have in your wall. Well, that's what important right now. Yeah. And the big. Uh, and no you... one's got that reference. No. No. No, no one's in the, no one's in the airplane? No. No. You should be educated. Anyway. Hey. So, anything we got on television in recent that we're interested in? Robot Wars. Robot Wars. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm still glad that show is back. Now the issue is, uh, at, at this point in time, I am I've caught up, and I haven't. We you did attempt to record one this point, vlog. You were behind me, and now I'm behind you. And I haven't watched yes. any of the episodes yet. Though we think oh, we say it's just going to be spoilers to all the. Well, basically, John hasn't watched it, so how can we have a decent Robot Wars discussion? Well, we'll just you and me again. Well, no, because no. you're going to want to watch Road Wars and catch up or not. I'm going to when I get the chance, yeah? No, right. We'll have to discuss Road Wars another time, then anything else has been on recently you're interested in? No, uh, this has been on recently. But, in fact, no, I have been watching, um, because this is the sort of rubbish I've watched. 999, watch your emergency. Yeah. I've been watching. <laughs> I'm not seeing them, I'm going to be honest. It's that, it's that Channel 4. It's interesting. They, uh, it's interesting to say the least to see, you know, 999 operators and, you know, see their side of, yeah, you know, the emergency, see the police side, see the victim side of them sometimes. It makes it more interesting in that respect. Yeah, it does, to be honest. I haven't seen that, but I do. I mean, I like police interceptors. I've watched the odd one or two episodes of it. I do like, I do like the interceptors. Well, I've watched quite a lot of it. Traffic cops as well. I've oh, I'll, I'll watch that. all of them. Seen a few of them. What's it? Road Wars. Yep, Road I've Wars. Yeah, I watched that. I mean, that's well. great. Road Wars. I think is great when you can't really have enough. You can't say. You just need some background noise and just some things yeah. to focus on. Yeah, that's it. So you watch like, the big police officers. What, what can I go? watch to help me relax? Oh, a bit of violence. <laughs> yeah, a bit of, a bit of violence. The police officers talking to chaps about speeding and driving in an uninsured vehicle. No. Yeah, and they shoot the Vauxhall Novas. <laughs> Look at me, no, it's hard, I got a Nova. <laughs> Flipping oh, or a Metro like or something. Now, except for it's not Nova. Oh, 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 the old Metro. The old. Who made up Metro? It was Austin, man. Metro. Yeah, Austin no, Metro, yeah. Metro. God, they were bad things. I think we had one once, yeah, we did. Yeah, my mum had about three of them. I know. Mum had one. As much as 
Yeah, we've gone from television to cards. And we'll Which just... is relevant. Now, how about cars on television and TV car shows? Oh, Top Gear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I rounded that one in there nicely. I, I think they did that. Yeah. Better, well, um, again, this is this is my opinion of a certain person on Top Gear. Look at it, Moxie. Fucking Fincher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm getting laughs> <up, I'm getting laughs> anyway, we get the point. <laughs> <laughs> I think we get the point with that one, kind of. Um, and I think we know who you're going on about as well. Yes, um, we mentioned, we mentioned him earlier. Mentioned no Matthew, names. Yes. yes, um, that ginger idiot, also known as Chris Evans. Yes. <laughs> the bad one, the British one. That's the one. The British one, yes. The Radio 2 uh, host, and that's the only thing he's ever actually good at. <laughs> Never as good as Terry Wogan, though. True, but. I have to say, you see, the difference between you and I grew up with Terry Wogan doing the BBC Breakfast Show. Oh. And in my opinion, Evans ruined it. See, we did yeah. everything that Tate Wogan made good about the morning show and See, ruined it. I was I'll, never a fan, I didn't like it. Changed it completely, I wasn't happy, so I gave it one to after that. Seeing that I've only ever experienced Terry Wogan on um, Wogan's weekend Sunday, whichever the show it was. Yeah. Um, Another legend sadly lost yeah, Terry Wogan. Yeah, Rest in so, yeah. Um, but I always prefer Terry Wogan to Chris Evans. I prefer, I prefer basically everyone to Chris Evans. I think everyone does. I hate Chris, Chris Evans. Is too loud. Absolutely loud. hate him. Take a quote from a famous American cartoon show. No one's with really Chris Evans. I mean, Chris Evans would be Chris Evans. <laughs> well, an adjusted, an adjusted saying from the show. Yeah. So it was just a Family Guy quote, so to speak. Yes. It was a Family Guy quote. If anyone knows that one. Uh, and who yeah, was originally yeah, referring to? I'm not going to tell you. Yes, or we'll see if anyone actually comments and knows it. Yeah. Right. Um. Have we got anything else to talk about TV? I've been watching um <laughs> stuff on Dave of a morning when I've been going up. If I've what been on Top Gear. Uh, apart from Top Gear, um, lizard lip towing. Oh. Oh, I think that's funny. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Funny as hell, but it's also really crap. And at the same time, I think those pair are really. I think what's the what's her name? Bobby and um, Bobby and Ronnie. That they are ballsy. Oh, and no, the, the, thing, the risks they take to get the vehicle. Oh yeah. God, that makes me laugh. You know, over here you'd probably, they, you know, people like that would probably call the police first. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. take matters into their own hands. No. Or they just I'm, come out with a crowbar and bite you in the yeah. head and then take the vehicle. So now, have you ever seen Storage Hunters? Is it? Yeah. Oh. Storage. Yeah, oh, yeah, storage chances. Yeah, go going back to um, I went to Comic Con, the Birmingham. Hang on, I'm just being called away. Give me two seconds, people. Oh, good God. Yeah. Um, anyway, while, whilst we've done that, let's still talk about Liz and Terry. Yeah. Um, go on. Now, the question is who d is Amy uh, a fully. This is may seem really offensive, but I Amy looks like a man. No, she's definitely a woman. It's the way her is. I think it's just the way I was brought up and the way her oh. is. Right, sorry. Well, she's a man. Yeah, story hunters. We're she story does hunters. look like... Alright, oh, so I was just going on about how Amy looks like a man, but um... How who? Amy. Amy... Ronnie's, uh, from... Ronnie's, Ronnie's wife. Oh, we're literally towing, yes. Yeah, she does look like a man, you have to admit. Be careful what he's saying. She's if she... Uh, port, which he's going to eat too. What do you mean? What do you mean? She does look like a man. Yeah, that's your opinion. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna divulge your opinion. Anyway. Anyway. Story hunters. Yes. Go on, what's going on? Sold your way. Hate me for this, and if I remember to send you an image, we can probably insert this in the video here somewhere. Put it quickly. Back in. Was Comic Con in London? Was it May at the XL? Must End of May, though. yeah. Met Sean Kelly. Met Sean Kelly. <laughs> Met Sean Kelly got a picture taken in Comic Con. If I remember, I'll send you an image and put it in. Is it, isn't that on the um, vlog you did? <laughs> on the channel? Did I, put, oh, did I put a picture in, didn't I? Yeah, so yeah, go back did. and watch that. I, can't, I forgot to put that in there. It's the very oh, first video on our channel, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I, forgot, I know I put the one I took with Tom to in there. I've forgotten that one. Oh, damn, there was two of them to put in there as well, and I forgot. Oh, well, we can put them up now, can't we? 
Oh, rats, yes. Um, hang um, on, hang on, hang on. Okay, you might know them. Katkia Callum. I don't know, Jordan will. Evan? Evan. Edinger. Oh, yes, yes, the American. Um, yes, the American makes jokes. Yes, really the bad, bad, bad jokes. jokes. About, about the same quality as yours. Wouldn't go that far. No, I'd go that far. Your jokes are awful. What are you suggesting that... I don't know. What, that yeah. you two could have a pun off and that you would win? Oh, please. D no. <laughs> yes. I think that'd be right. a tight right. one and then no, the chance... No. Hey, hey, that would be pretty close, Jordan. I'm going to go to Twitter. Ch the chances of that actually happening are going to be slim to none. Ah, uh, but I'm, I'm going to go to Twitter. I'm going to say, Evan, I have You've been threatening worth... this for about two months. You've done nothing on it. Well, maybe I'm going to do it now. Yeah, of course. Maybe I'm going to do it pre record Or you do it post recording and then you send this. To them. Actually, no, we're, we're my worst joke so far. Are you? Hang on. Do I actually follow him first? That's a question. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not very much to you. Uh, what would you say is my, my, my worst joke in so far? Uh, every, um, hang on. What's Evan's uh, twist? I don't know. What's his YouTube channel name? Look it up. Great. Hang on. Let me oh, got it, it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, this is going to be considered to be really, really cringeworthy. We just don't want the YouTubers here, so yeah. But I suppose the people like that are the reason I got back into making videos, so yeah. I, I make yeah. no shame in saying that. I have reason to go back. Yeah. yeah. Fact, so no, anyway. Oh, no, not so, Evan, I'll tweet Emma Black Ring. What about the bad jokes? Oh please, I'm going to the I'm going to a cop in Birmingham. I'm sure she'll find I'm a bad my jokes. Oh yeah, I've got you got backstage passes as well, haven't you? Yeah, because because I'm nice enough to pay for Jordan Joe to go to it and the first thing present to get in for the last few years. Oh, I'm yeah. a nice person, see? I can be nice. I can be not an absolute not an arsehole, but I can yes. be nice. Uh, reference um, that vlog I did on YouTube where you got me wet. <laughs> <laughs> Interpret that how you want, people. Interpret that how you want. That's real. So that will sound out. Oh shit. <laughs> um, um, uh, to be fair, we all got wet that day. With, a water. with watering cans. <laughs> I, I think what I've done. The content of the watering can. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly uh, spilt all my cider all over me then. <laughs> I think we nearly got Jordan wet then. You know how precious this old uh, this old Westerns is to me. It's old, old Rosie. Old Rosie, sorry. I've heard of Western Scrumpy and Old Rosie. Yeah, that's, the, old that's what I meant. Old Rosie. Together. Yeah, could be. Goodness, are you mixing bloody stuff now? Right, onto a different subject completely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> quite fast and moving on, moving swiftly on. The next topic <laughs> on my list is uh, <clears throat> games. Ooh, something we can actually have a long discussion about. Um, game, on, yes. Just game. I might have to do another job then. <laughs> yeah, you may have. Right, um, you finished that one already? Not quite. Right, what games have you been playing recently? I've been playing Just Cause 3 a lot. I do enjoy it. Um, I've played Just Cause 2 and I imagine Just Cause 3 is Just Cause, just cause 3. 2. Uh, but it's not, just my it's not my favourite overall game so far, I have to admit. What's your favourite Favourite game I've game? played so far has to be... Now, I'm going to admit... I went in this skeptical, not thinking much of it. I ended up getting it on the place in a PS4 bundle because I can't remember, was it Fallout 4 one to get originally wasn't available wasn't available, so they gave me something else it was a Fallout 4, but something else wasn't available. So yeah. they switched it for Last of Us. Ooh. Which I said was just a play for. I thought, you know what, it's better than nothing, I'll give it a go. I've heard good things. And literally it's the one game I've actually started playing and not but not turned it off until I finished. I really enjoyed it. Now, this is, this is me who can actually start a game, stop halfway through, start something else, and then switch between the two. I yeah. could not put that game down, and I went and skeptical as anything to the play in that. And I didn't think yeah. I'd enjoy it, but I loved it, so yeah, I have to put that out. It's my favourite game so far. 
yeah, um, as much as I haven't actually played The Last of Us, I've seen footage of it on YouTube, I've read reviews, it looks bloody amazing. It is I know really this good. game's been out for a couple of years now, but it doesn't matter. There's meant to be a sequel probably... coming out soon, as I'm really hoping there's a sequel, because, I look, because it ends on such a good cliffhanger, and I really yeah. want the game to continue. Um, yeah, um, it, it just looks bloody brilliant. If you haven't played it, I would recommend playing buying it. Now, when there's the a thing is, I'm going to admit this is the problem. It is a PS4 exclusive. Yeah, that's the only issue. If you have a PS4, buy it. If you don't, or buy PS4. PS4. It came on PS3 originally, but the PS4 version comes with the extra, what was the original DLC? Oh, yeah. Left, left Behind. Oh, yeah, like, a little bonus game as well. That is really good. That is awesome, really. Basically, good. it was like a Game of the Year edition that they always do, like, you know, really just throw in all the DLCs that's just been released up to that point. Yeah. But don't, if you haven't got the game, don't play the, don't play the Left Behind bit until you've played at least halfway into Last of Us. Or wait till you finish the end of it, then go back. Ah. I will say that, do not play Left Behind, I'm playing the game, because you won't make any sense. Because it fits right into the middle of the plot. Yeah, um... See, so a game I really enjoyed playing recently, it was only a quick, um, 15, you know, 15, 20 minute game as well. And it's... Free on Steam. I've actually even done a video on my YouTube channel. <coughs> Plugging. <coughs> Shameless plug. Yes. Um. It's called. It now. Bear with me for the title. I've actually got Steam open just so I can actually read the entire title. Oh, do you know Doctor Langsworth? Yeah, Doctor Lanskov, Tiger, and the Terribly Cursed Emerald. A whirlwind heist. Now. Ah. La is it? Is it cursed? Uh, yeah, I said the Terribly Cursed. Well, it was cursed, 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 not cursed. I don't know. Cursed. I actually downloaded yeah. that. Yeah. It's. I would Great. recommend don't watch my video until you've played the game. It's not audio. It's or if you don't have any intention of playing the game, watch video. Yeah, that's no, up to you, but I it was a weird and wonderful experience. Let's just say I wasn't expecting it to turn out what it was like. But I enjoyed but that it. That was my experience of Last of Us, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. Um the title and the sort of the loading screen sort of just threw you off completely off piece and being, oh, I should have expected something like that. Seeing it was um, done by by the, some of the same guys who were created, or who developed the game, the Stanley Parable. Not play that game, to be honest. I, I haven't played that game. I've played the demo and of that one, which is a completely different experience to the actual game itself. Um, and that's also free. And all that I like jazz. free stuff. Yeah, if you like free stuff, there's a lot of good free stuff on Steam. There's a whole lot, a lot of, of bad free stuff as well. There's a lot of bad crap, but there's some good crap. Um, and <laughs> yeah, good crap. I, I just use the word crap to refer to stuff. But um, these two games are basically the two games. This is are probably it are in the best of good crap. They are the best free games you can probably get. The best, the best of you. Yep. Yes. The best. The best of you. Yes. Yeah. No singing, <laughs> please, fighters. Alan. Oh, why not? Because <laughs> you can't sing. Ah, oh, you can't sing, Alan. I know, but if my plan comes this one, I'm going to have to stop your singing anyway. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. That or my guitar playing. Um, You're not going to make us listen to that now, are you? No, I've got pushed to talk on. It'd be kind of awkward trying to oh, do the cause of What are these cock jobbers doing now? Can you not think of another word, Jordan, really? Maybe, maybe well, like I could, but... Bastards? Twats? A word, what, a word that begins with C? Knob jockeys? Yeah, as well. I didn't hear what you said, sorry, I was saying knob jockey anyway. Uh, the the oh, child you motherfucker! I should have came with for the first two netball team supporters. Come <laughs> uh, on, girl. What, I... Why is we in this country? Why is it gone from being cold, wet and... Miserable, doing sunny, sunny and warm again. Uh, oh, sticking England, to my never yeah. seat at the moment is uncomfortable. Yes, yeah, same here. It's Mother Nature. Uh, right. Uh, I can't. I can't hang on. Let me just think of another game quickly to talk about. Um. Favorite, okay, favorite overall games you've played over the years? Uh, Portal 2. Yeah, I've not played the Portal games. You, you've, you've got to play them. It's. The portal games are puzzle and <coughs> are based, they're just puzzle games. I played, the, see, I played the portal level on Lego Dimensions. Yes. Um, I think I played the original portal. Was it a 2D platform? Was it the original one? No. 
there was on there was something that was called Portal Online. It was like a two D platformer thing you played. That that is that game's canon to the Portal um, franchise. Ah right. Is you never oh, never playing actual Portal game then? No, you no. Uh, uh, two Portal games. Portal, brilliant, best game I've ever played. Portal Two. Um, not as good as Portal in the you know, it's, but it's you know. Maybe Are you one of the few people good. that would actually marry Portal? Yes. First Love Portal Two. Yeah. Yeah. No, first Love Portal. <laughs> Second, Second Love Portal, portal Two. Yeah. My wife yeah. would be Portal. My um, mistress would be Portal Two. <laughs> That's not weird at all. No, not at all. Uh -oh. No. Nothing yeah. weird about that, what's Now, as much as I say, they are the best games I've ever played. Not my favourite, but the best. See, I think going back over these, I think one of my favourite games I've played, and it has to be the original Tomb Raider series. I did love the Tomb Raiders, and I loved Crash Bandicoot as well. Well, the old oh, Crash Bandicoot, that's probably... Uh, the old Crash the... Bandicoot, pre-Naughty Dog, selling out to the rest of the and ruining the franchise. The first... Was it basically the, 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 the original first PlayStation three. PS1? I think, yeah. was it the first three? Was it Crash, Crash 2, Rap, Rap of Cortex, I think the second one's called, I mean, it was Warped, yeah. Well, yeah basically, um, they're rebooting though, they are remastering those for PS4 later this year. I, ha I have heard, I would really... It's a shame I don't have a PS4, but oh, I really want. You need to get a PS4 at some point. Well, I've got PC. Well, the next gen's a PS4, so we call it like this. I've got a PC, I, you know. I'm going to sound very cringy, but PCs are better. Depends what you want to do. I've always been a console gamer. Yeah, I've been a PC. I've like... always had the PlayStation series. I had a first PlayStation. Really Consoles. Saying that, I recently invested along with Joe, who. He hasn't joined us tonight, but probably join us in future podcasts. And we bought an, I bought an N64. Ooh. And that, that joystick on them is weird. I can't imagine. Being it's an N64. I mean, the whole con, the whole, con, the whole, what's the word after? Console, thingy, con con configuration, controller. controllers. That's the one. The controlling thingy that you plug into it. The controller. It's a nice, it's a weird setup. I mean, it's nice to hold, but the joystick is. I mean, I'm supposed you're getting his thumb left using that. Yeah. So the N64, in so many ways, was probably one of the best consoles in the 90s. But one thing let it down. And that was Nintendo? It ran cartridges. Oh, oh yes. It was running cartridges, but there was else to go into discs, and the cartridges had died, the cartridges had died out. Nintendo yeah. were trying to put a cartridge console out when discs were taken over, and that is what the N64 failed. If the N64 had run discs, it would have kicked the PlayStation's ass by miles. Well, not only that, you pro Nintendo will actually be probably putting out new consoles and, you know, not just trying to do the same old IP crap. You know, yeah. that Wii The, the Wii like, was over! See, they always had something that Nintendo was doing with the portable gaming market. Well, the, the Game Wii Boy was brilliant. The only Wii. Game Boy I didn't like was the Game Boy Micro. It was just too small, it wasn't practical. Yeah. yeah. The micro is by no means a practical console to use. No. Oh. No. I hated I the advance. See, I didn't mind the advance. I liked the advance. The only trouble was you had to add, you had to have a light onto the advance, do you? You had to shine a light onto the advance when it was you dark. You had to have a light to get onto the originals, and it was only the later Game Boy yeah. colours and the later Game Boy pockets that came with the backlight. Yeah. The basic ones didn't. You had to pay more for the backlight. Yeah. And the advance, the advance had a backlight, but it was never the best. The Nintendo backlights were never any good. Yeah. They were great indoors, but no, they never got the screen light for outdoors. <laughs> and the advance worked well indoors. Yeah. When you're trying to go on a car journey or a coach journey, your phone came out. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. No, I don't screen. see the screen. Oh my no, god, no, I'm about... no, I died. <laughs> no, no, he hasn't died in real life. The advance is a good console, and I like to feel it. The advance SP. It was an uncomfortable thing. Because I managed to drop my original advance and I smashed the screen. Oh. And it couldn't get the parts at this point, so it was cheap at that point to just get an SP second hand. I think it was. Yeah. Worst thing ever. It was horrible. It was not practical to use. It, the design was novel. I mean, like, I mean, that's what you fold the screen down, but operational wise, user friendability was awful. <laughs> And the triggers, the triggers are terrible if you can put a whole bit of wrong angle, you pinch your skin, 
and put your pinky skin in the trigger, push the trigger down, and you know a blood blister? Ooh. He goes, did you get out of here now? Throw the thing away. I yeah. wasn't oh. sworn he'd gone as any time snagging me finger and just sang me finger in the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, terrible. Can no, you I was... remember the Game Boy, the printer and the camera? No. You no, I never... I saw them, I never had one. I had it, and I've still got it, I think, somewhere. <laughs> no, Probably not. don't work, mind you, but I've still <laughs> got it. Have you got a Game Boy still? Um, I've got an old, an old one. An original black and white one? It's black and white, but um, you take, do you remember You've the old... You've got Game Boy and you didn't think to tell me? Not the original one. Do you know how much they're um, worth now? No. It's the one, do you know where you can see the inside? When it's it's the clear case, you can see all the inside. The Game Boy Pocket? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hang on, let me I just think. Google. What's the value of a Game Boy Pocket now? They are quite valuable pockets. I was going to say, they have gone back up in the world, are they? Um, the, pop, the thing with the pocket is, it was a really good thing, and when people had got rid of them, they either took them or kept them. Yeah. It's the same with the great Legend of Zelda game that I'm looking for, the German's Mask. Now, I'm just looking at eBay I think one game one of the greatest in the entire Zelda franchise. And people, probably people is either chucked them or they kept them and now trying to find, you can't just copy, find a copy of the German Mask, that's 50 quid. Yeah. It's well, what we all saying about it's as rare as rocking or shopping. I'm just having you just a look cannot at find them. On eBay, um... A lot of the, they're usually about they're at around the 25, 30, 40 pound mark. I mean, I've just found. Remember that Game Boy Pockets or Majora's Mask? Bo uh, Game Boy uh, Pockets. Oh right, let's go back back to the subject of that before. Yeah, um, I've, I've actually just found the uh, the clear Game Boy Pocket handheld console. <laughs> Apparently, in excellent condition, 25 pounds. I don't know if it's got the case or not. If you have the case, you might. So you got the case with the box slipping? Are you laughing? I, w I would recommend holding on to it for another 10, 20 years. <laughs> That will become valuable. I'm gonna say I chucked the box years ago when I was a kid. Oh, oh you idiot! Now you've done it. Well, could, we console... could be talking about that as channel funding. Exactly. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, he's just throwing the window. Well, he's just thrown the YouTube channel and business. He's just thrown the channel's money out the window. <laughs> <laughs> thrown our budget for the next um, uh, <laughs> Top Gear Star video out the window. Thank you. Well, well, that job. We, we, we could have made the videos I wanted to make of that. <laughs> yeah, but now we don't have the budget. Thank you. Great. That's sort of, that's sort of gonna, going back to selling people's organs on the black market. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's a joke, by the way, people. No black market organ sales are going on. Right. Not that okay. I know of, anyway. I'm telling you, I'm not saying anything. Callum's not. Because of Jordan. <laughs> well, he does work for cross country. <laughs> Advertising. He doesn't live in Tipton. He lives in Tipton. Oi, 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 oi. Stop well, revealing where I'm from. Oh, uh, people know where you know where you end up being. So the hole and another hole. Yeah. In fact, three holes. True. At home. Your work. Every hole is the goal. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> my lord. My, my lords! No, resist. that's not talk about my lords. That reminds me of Saturday. Thank you very much. Right, have I got to do another job? This one's yes. finished. Yep, yeah, right. We're not, we're it's finished. that you can start another game up or whatever. I'll just do another job. Train you can put your face on the screen and scare up. people. <laughs> nah, yeah, we yeah, going back earlier. I mentioned, yeah, we'll put the picture. Yeah, anyway, yeah. You found everyone on Twitter yet or not? <laughs> I have. I've also. I'm, about, I'm going to go to um, Emma Blackery instead. I will do it tonight. <laughs> There's no point going to Black Arena because the point is, I said, if we do, if I do a bit, like a quick video backstage, you can just see the reactions to a face anyway. <laughs> the chances are, the chance that she just comes across this channel is what we think, what the fuck is wrong with that person anyway? Person, yes, you can't speak for a shash. Yeah, like that. It sounds like the fat control in related trauma series. Trauma should be a right little shit, fuck off. Like... <laughs> Stay you don't even sound like you don't even sound like Tommy. You sound like bloody Reese from Angry Wilson Productions. <laughs> and does his a panya voice. And he's a dick. I love that series. Uh, well, I think we go. It, technically related, it's Train Simulator, and Jordan is playing Train Simulator. Simulator according to Steam. So yeah, correct. It's oh, really you're going to do Train Simulator now. What are we going to do? What are we going to be talking about? I have no there? idea yet. Just have you got a Super Forty Seven? I don't know. I don't know what I've got and what I got. I can't remember. 
Oh, I don't. Um, if I'm you haven't, get the Super Christ. 47. You can have, if you haven't seen it, everyone, I recommend watching some of Angry Welshman's. Well, I'll be, do, I'll be doing a career anyway, so. Oh. Uh, do oh, want, do, let's do have. A... I've got um, Norwich to Liverpool Street. A, a oh, class 90. What, the one you always tell me you break, or is it the 86 you break? Well, I break both, but. Let's it, not, no, he breaks the three ages as well. I'll just have a break then. <laughs> It don't take much to break a voyage, they break themselves. <laughs> well, true. Hey, old, new subject for just for the short term. Train talk with everyone here. I can drive um, a class 158 from Liverpool, uh, from, yeah, from Liverpool to Manchester. To, to where? Manchester? Yeah. Liverpool to Manchester. On which route? The original Liverpool, Manchester by Newton and Willows? Express or... service to Manchester, it does say. No, it's the, um... It's the West Coast Main the Line light, The light morning weekday express. <laughs> oh, the one where you go down to Liverpool South Parkway and by Warrington? Yeah. Yes, that one. Ah, but not so good one. Manchester, yeah. it's, the, it's Liverpool something. I can do the Riviera Line. That's an alright one. That's, an, that's a, a nice scenic one. Yeah. Yeah, it's we'll going to be in a pace slow, isn't it? It's going to be in a 143, yeah. Oh, no. Nonetheless, maybe not. I've got the West Coast Main Line North, the Trent Valley. Do the trend about. Wait, it, that'll be in a 350 though, won't it? Yeah. No, oh, no. Oh, what's wrong with that? Because, have you got any steamers? Through that one? I have, but I can't drive them. It's not that hard to drive a steam engine. Choose the Fisher Price tool bike, everyone else does. I use the. I do. Well, I use the. No, I don't. I don't use the keyboards because I actually know something. Hang on, I've got um. Class. Hang on, where's. If I just go on quick. If I just want to standard, they'll bring more up. That was correct. That was on career mode. Oh, why don't you just go to quick drive, select the river area, but select the, the, the HST, the 43 HST. Could do. Yeah, proper thing. Proper traction. Yeah, proper traction with proper carriages and on a proper main line. Hang on, Indeed. it's how you me. What, quick drive? On quick drive, it's, um, hmm, that's odd. Normally like you know it. I think Jordan's broken the game, people. He's, he's already broken the game, he hasn't even gone into it yet. <laughs> hey! Good start. Right. Just do on the paces, it'll be fun. <laughs> nice to do it now. Let's just do something different. Hang on. Um, has, we haven't actually gone <laughs> to what well, I wanted to go with gaming, which was um, games Let's we're go looking on forward to this year. No, Shit, I've dropped, my... I've dropped my phone, hang on. Ah, there we go. Okay, the other thing I've got here is weird thing, weird trending things on uh, social media. So oh, I will see on. if I can find anything different or weird trending, and then we'll go over that. Hang on, how, let me see what's trend. How do I check to see what's trending on um, Twitter? I know do it on Facebook. I can't do it on Twitter though. <laughs> do you find anything interesting? Is something... Right. I've oh, got a short list. There's something more than that. I'm going to do a class thirty-seven. Yeah, Where do we get all on. trends? Okay, so we've got entertainment. Right. Anything interesting, anything interesting. Nothing here at the moment. Hmm. Um, in sports, part of, of them, I think, part of them. The only sports I can think of is that uh, we don't really wear any Olympic shit. Yeah. yeah. Team GP has been absolutely fantastic. We've become second. To... Hang on, hang on. To the US. As always. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Actually, I can. I might be able to see what what's trending on YouTube. We'll see what's trending on YouTube. I'm on YouTube, um, I can't see. Where would you find trend? Where would you find trending on YouTube? On the left hand side, you got you know, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trending. Uh... Um. Again, it's not really much. So we've got the couples like to take the test, but that's not interesting. We've got Mentel, Jordan, Surprises, James, <laughs> Chef Dog, Game for Life of Fairy. Uh, we've got and some about WWE Raw. Yeah, wrestling is trending again. I've never been uh, a fan of wrestling. I've never given it a chance, to be honest, so uh, I can't really judge it one way or the other. I've played the WWE games, but that's about it. <laughs> I've never watched a wrestling match in my life. Yeah. Nick Dunmeister plays a wrestling. Uh, no. Yeah, no. Uh, no. It'll just be a bunch of button mashing and then screaming at each other. 
But why won't you die? Punch up. Yeah, which will turn into a real life punch up. That's what I meant to real life punch up. Uh, Control is down and just murder each other. Well, uh, Usain Bolt, amazing first ever throw of the javelin at the Rio Olympic Stadium. That was two days ago, so how's that trending? I don't know. Is Usain Bolt? I don't know. Something just trending for so long. Uh, you see, you obviously haven't done what you're afraid to do on Twitter because I haven't had a notification yet. Or have you? Well, wait. I'm going to do it at some point in the <laughs> podcast when I'm not looking at the I'm watching you because I don't trust you now. I don't know what you're going to talk about, I'll be fine. He doesn't even know which Twitter account I've got it. He's going to be winking in. Hey, either on. way, I literally have both on my phone, so it'll come up either way. Oh. You know. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How is this still trending? Bad AIDS versus good AIDS. Four years ago, and that's trending now. What? Bad aid versus good aid. This is on YouTube. Yeah, What's this about? On, uh, bad aid and good aid. Is it real? I don't know. What how is are it... you a good form of it? How is it? Does... A... You know what? I'm going to have to watch that at some point. No, don't. <laughs> I, I might just be some aid. What do I think? Say. It's something else and it's a setup of something else. No, it's just, a, a, it looks like it's just like an aid awareness thing. <laughs> Yes, oh, you know, this big crap. Um, hang on. Oh, this is going to be trending, and... Um, is an article from the Telegraph actually saying how the bloody tape to reason that day. Where is this on Twitter? No, uh, it's on... It, yes, it, it was, but it's from a... somewhere, I don't know. Uh, it's on the Telegraph. Where did you find the moment? That's moments. Where's doing it trending on Twitter? I don't know. Or is it called moments? I don't know. Do you think I know how to use Twitter? <laughs> I'm maybe younger than you, but I don't know how to use Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> oh, we're going to join this back down, are we? Oh, no. Jeez, Twitter. How's that Twitter. paper going? Yes. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Follow them on Twitter at BCPYT2016. 2016. You can follow me on Twitter at some random Twitter thing if you want to find out. We'll put, we'll put links in the description if you remember. But I'm not editing this one, so I'm writing on Jordan to remember. Otherwise, I'll go back and correct it. Yeah. Well, they both have access to the YouTube channel, so you know. But it's a dual, it's a dual, dual managed channel, so yeah. Yes. It does help having two people trying to join the channel. It does. Although it doesn't help when you knock yourself out of a Twitter account, ask someone else to send a tweet to an account, who then doesn't word the tweet properly and get badly sassed. Oh, is this a... Shut <laughs> up. I have to say, Jordan, you got sassed beautifully, I must admit. Oh, yeah, was that and a tweet? And if by any chance, the person who's going to watch this video, I must congratulate you for the way you sassed it. And believe me, he's got nothing but grief on me in the matter as Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry for you asked for that. You got sassed beautifully. Oh god, it makes me laugh. I feel like a really dumb one to laugh. If it wasn't for the fact it was the channel I co-run over, probably in my chat status myself. <laughs> Part of me was part of me. 99% of me wants like, and 0.1% is like, no, it's your channel, you have to be dead, you can't laugh, they can't laugh, they can't laugh. They can, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, if you remember screenshot of a tweet on this, do a screenshot of a tweet, then put them in just, just for comedy value. Yeah, be afraid. <laughs> comedy. Be afraid. Be very afraid. No, I would be afraid of all of you. I am writing the tweet now as we speak. <laughs> oh god, to who? Evan, obviously. Oh lordy, why do I think this is going to be bad for me? Yeah, of course it will. So if it's actually, what, you're going to link one of the other videos my worst ones in? Uh, I, think, I think the truck best one's my worst so far. Always the, always the, one, always the last one we did the worst. 
Well, the issue is I'm writing the tweet on my phone, but I can't access YouTube from my phone whilst I'm writing the tweet. The only way Have you, do well, why don't you go to YouTube first, get the link, copy link, and then go back? And why am I helping you to get me set up here? What's wrong with me? Setting myself up for trouble here. Everything's oh, well. wrong again. Right, um, hang on, hang on. Uh, I'll do it for my computer and TT. Yes. Let's see. So, what was actually we were discussing before we went completely off? Uh, gaming. Yes, so any games you're looking forward to coming out to you? Um, one that's coming out this week, Burn Bus Simulator. I'm not necessarily excited for it, but I, I do want to play it. Yay! You don't know what, you do, you don't know what Burn Bus Simulator is. It's literally a coach. Imagine you're a simulator, but you're driving coaches instead of buttons. <laughs> and you're Germany only. But it's got, you know, you know, about the same thing, isn't it? Buses, yeah. trucks, Germany, <laughs> Europe. Yeah. Um, anything else you're really interested in looking yeah. at? Does this make sense to, any make sense to anyone? No. And you missed that one, eh? Anyone think of what I just said? No, I'm busy. I You're said, do this make sense to anyone? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's... Oh. What? Is that the first you've heard? Oh! <laughs> and we're back after my little blip. Off, Callum. We're back. <laughs> There's Sorry a technical, technical, technical little blip. Do I think I've made my first joke yet? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that would follow on. First, no? Oh god. Uh, here, we go. here we go. again. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, like that's that's the second that time we've actually done that. Joke today. We shall decide. And you join back as I'm probably about to kill Callum. <laughs> as anyone who follows us on Twitter, or follows <laughs> everyone on Twitter, has probably seen by now, I think Callum has just set me up for my demise. You set your, uh, yourself up for your own demise because you had practically what? told me what to do. <laughs> Why? I don't know what I was saying. I wasn't thinking you straight. And now I'm watching my phone and paranoid that Twitter's going to... Every time Twitter goes off, I panic now. <laughs> I just cost myself a night's sleep. <laughs> yep. So, Thanks yeah. You, stay tuned, folks. You might never... Stay tuned, folks. It's not the last time you ever hear from me on this channel. Or me. In fact, most likely me. <laughs> Oh, most likely Steve Meister's. If Steve Meister's channel goes quiet, you know why. Well, nor it you normally goes quiet because I can't be bothered to put uploads onto the channel. But... <laughs> yeah, but if you never hear another word from him again in, in the like, next year or so, you know what happened. Yeah, I'm probably. Pissed. I sent him to Nepal to live with a family of goats. Yeah, in a, in a box. In a box, there's a, a few bits of black carbon. <laughs> in a box, so don't forget to put air holes in. No, no, I, no, you burnt Tell them. me you get that one. You watch Family Guy, don't yes, you? Yes, I do watch Family Guy. Thank you. And I did get that. Hey. I was, but I was still going on my own game. Yeah. For mating of me and then send me to the port to live with goats. No, I was going to say, let's send you as you are to live with goats and just put you off an internet. So you're going to go as I am, as I was, as I'm not going to kill you, not that cool. I leave you alive, you just have to live without technology, in the middle of nowhere. Well, that, I'd get used to it. It'd be hell for the first couple of years. I'd See, be you'd, you'd be alive, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not a psychopath killer. No, you're just a psychopath. <laughs> sociopath is the word you're after, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be all sociopaths. <laughs> yes, you are, to some extent, yeah. I mean, all of us accept fairy, it's just a fairy. Yeah. Um, he is spending his time in holes. Yes, but you can't see it this time, he's probably driving the train. A class A6 to be precise, double edit. <laughs> oh, on a freight. Oh no, Twitter's gone off, what the hell is this, what the hell is this? Oh no, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. Oh, <laughs> I'm, watching, I'm watching Twitter as well, like this. I'm, I'm watching Twitter as well because I'll be the first one to find out because I'm the one that sent out the tweet. But I got a notification that you tweeted it. I know, and you'll get notifications so when you're And I literally have notifications turned on when the person you tweeted tweets. I know about it. <laughs> I'm not happy. You tell me what to do. Why? 
Anyway, oh, crashed um... already. I've derailed oh. already. <laughs> you crap. So, anyway, we were talking about games, weren't we? I think so. Yes. Before we Jordan talking... broke his game. Yep, that's correct. Yes, quite literally. So, favourite childhood games? Wait, um, what's that? What's going on? What's going off? Uh, Sonic Adventure, a bit of retro Nothing. off the Dreamcast. <laughs> All the Dreamcast. Grass the console that came in way too late. Yep, Crash Bandicoot, that'd be um, my favourite one. Definitely, I love Crash. Um, and yours? Wagga wagga! Uh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and when the um, screen just went, went black and you went, ow! Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you died, oh. Oh, God. The, oh no, that reminds me of that bloody level. One that was a bit like Indiana Jones with the cannonball things. Which? Um, in Crash Round, I think it's the original Crash Round 2. It's I can't remember which level it was that, but you had the, like the 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 big balls of rock chasing you. <laughs> oh, the boulder. Camera, yeah, the boulder and the camera. And the forward facing the camera. Yes, you could oh, not that see was a where you that could, was. Oh, the amount of times I died there. <laughs> I thought I was the one riding the pig was a pain. Uh, well. Oh no, Twitter. No, no. No, no, I haven't got anything on Twitter. Don't worry, you'll say. Oh, he's posted something, okay. He's posted, but it's not that. I think I'm gonna live. Yes, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> Up yours? You, you won't live much longer this rate. No. I know. It's alright, I'm just gonna put a vlog up instead. I'll yeah. take a vlog, happy with that. Vlog's happy, vlog's happy, but him to complain, him watching your video is even better. Him literally. Yeah, but I don't want to use someone else to exploit my channel. Oh, you told me what to do, so perhaps you're exploiting your own channel. <laughs> no, I would never exploit my own channel. I didn't what? think you were brave, I didn't think you were stupid, so who it is? Oh, well, I've been brave enough to do other stuff in the past. Like what? <laughs> uh, a thing we, I did before. The video before we actually before we, we te did a test report. Played that. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in the conversation on Teamspeak. Yes. 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 <laughs> I shall not mention it. Yes. No. Don't. It's no, a personal thing anyway. It's not it's only Lisa. No one else is going to see it anyway. Oh, yeah. You're really brave. Yeah, they've gone out and put it on Facebook. Don't give me ideas. God, I'm not. I'm not going to say you're your own demise now. But any you doing this point on your own, is all doing. Ah. <laughs> oh. So yeah. Well, let's see. What, what else is there coming? Um. <laughs> right, so we've talked about games Favourite, we're okay. enjoying at the moment. We've talked about our childhood games. What have we talked about yet? Favorite videos on the internet at the moment. Um, I don't know. Actually. Do we all have a favourite video? It might have been. I do have one here, it came a few days ago. What was it? Well, this is good someone who's never shown much interest in history. It's, it's always never interested me, to be honest. Oh, that Emperor one. Yeah, the North Korea. Yeah, we shall Because I thought, North I've never been to history, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance. Yeah. I've always been interested in North Korea, and I'm going to admit, full front, full front, full front no. Up front here, I used yeah. one of these people who, like everyone else, used to make jokes about Kim Jong Un because, let's face it, he used he seemed to think to do, I suppose. Yeah. Those who started it, but it goes into some deepness and you start looking at yourself thinking, you know what? I was wrong. I shouldn't have done that, but yeah. you live and learn. Yeah. You basically, I'm going to say is, I think. I I think I've clicked like on the Facebook but I'm a Twitter thing anyway. Yeah. Basically, yeah. if you were not going on, I'm not going to go into detail with it because it tells me to fancy speech to itself. It opened my eyes and I want to do more research. Look up, um, brief, is it? Brief History of North Korea, is it called? 
Yeah. Yeah, two by two by the you know what I'm So yeah. Yeah. Same. So yeah, even a count recommending it as well, so yeah. Yeah. You watch it yet, George? No. Oh. Let the side down. Always let the side down. <laughs> Always. Uh, I'm not gonna stop singing Bon Jovi. Halfway there. Oh no, Twitter's going off again, Twitter's going off again, Twitter's going off again. Oh no, oh no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. In fact, the gas. Jumping jack flash. Don't worry. Why am I so angry? Because I think you've probably just Worst of it. Worst of it. I might have beer. That's it. It's a beer's fault. Yes. We're going to blame that seat. Always blame the beer. Yeah, always blame that. Alcohol. <laughs> the, the cause of and solution to all life problems. That was my job to reference the Simpsons. <laughs> too slow, kid. Too slow. Kid, oh, well, I am younger than you. Yeah. So much younger than today. <laughs> well. Uh, anyway. <laughs> More mature than some people these days. Yeah, yeah. So that is very true, I've seen. <laughs> You're like, you're like, you're probably like, probably like young, you're like, but you're like an old man in this conversation at times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like the Victor Meldrew of the group. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I can't really say anything, to, but yes, right now. Yeah. You've not seen One Foot in the Grave? No. Oh, come on. Oh, I've, I've been too busy watching old Dr. Beachy, alright? <laughs> ah, f ah, fair juice. Oh yeah, it does make up for it. It's a good show as well, yeah. Film number seven, Mally as well. I know. Yeah, Hashtag R, one. Which means I'm now tempted to... When, when I'm doing the TTI tour, when I ever pull on to I'm now tempted to shout, Hatley, Hatley, Hatley! Hatley. Change here for Boston and Winstead. Ugh, happy shows. I may get bollocked if I do something like that. I may not. We should do a weekend where we just put the signs up and have a Doctor Beach weekend. Yeah, oh, yeah, we should do. Then should, that'd have to be at Harley, though, wouldn't it? At, uh, at Harley, sorry. Harley, sorry. No reason we can't do it. Yeah, but technically it would be geographic. It's a thought. It's have we still got the signs, actually? Have we still got the happy signs? The trigger box signs there. I've got a picture of myself somewhere. I was at Harley once talking to my staff and we were putting some in the workshop and it's there in the corner. Hang on. The oh. signal box sign, David, it's done by the platform sign, the signal box sign's still there. Hang on now, I'll ask someone, I'll ask them. You're going into the Winchester? No, I'm going to somewhere. somewhere. Oh, private chats? Yes. I think it actually does work out. Oh. And Kitty, booking office, and as a junior TTF. Oh, right, fair enough. So I had some of the down to a couple of people. Oh, I have thought something. Big in the news recently, and it's opened uh, over the weekend with Night Tube. What's that one? The Night Tube. What's our thoughts on the Night Tube? Good oh. idea. Should have done that start. Well, they run night buses. I can't see why the cars run tubes all through the night as well. They are now fully taking the night. It started last weekend. Hmm. Was it this week? I think it was last weekend it started, yeah? Yeah, I quite, I quite like to go on the night tube just to say I've done it. Yeah, well, the bus isn't quiet, so I can't see why the tube will be quiet. Friday, Saturday nights. The nights when everyone goes out drinking. Uh, and true. you're going to tell me the night tube's going to be quiet. Oh, the tube will be quiet then, but oh, through the week it is. It's only running Friday and Saturday nights. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, it's a Friday Saturday night thing, which is great if you're doing it like the out of town. I can see why it would be useful on a Friday and Saturday night, but if you're going to do a night shift, you can also do it every single day. <laughs> Could I ask that? Isn't actually I think this is a try at the moment, if there's actually demand for it. Of course there's demand for it. But will they get it to get the staff? Of course they will. Just hire more. Hello, um, you're talking sense now. Oh, oh yeah, we go. Stop it. Don't, don't, you, don't swear around here, common sense isn't allowed. No, it's a superpower, I'm allowed to have it. This is, this, is Brit this is Britain, we don't use common sense here. Of course we do. 
Oh, well, don't run down anyway. Let's be in charge, though. That's how they get to be in charge. It's like, you're doing... I don't know how to do your job, but my book says, my spreadsheet says you're doing it wrong. Uh, uh, no, my clipboard says you're doing it wrong. Well, isn't well, it? I want you take your clipboard, snap it, bend it sideways, and shove it up your backside. There's so many people I wish I could say it to. Oh, I should think of you. Well, it's just, it's a modern ethic nowadays. You've got people get up, with that person reading into management position, that would first do the job. And they try and tell someone who does how to do it. It's not just to do with people in management. People in management don't have to do the jobs which people actually do the jobs do. <laughs> for example, it's basically like, lack of management. Yeah, for example, I'm going the, you know, in the DL, the driver operating door, no, driver operating Oh, the DL thing, yeah. Rubber, you know, that sort of stuff. Which, the big, the big, the big southern situation. Yes, well, you know, they have that sort of a similar situation arising with Scott Rail. <laughs> yeah. Um, Look, the new stuff's drive only operation. Yeah, well, a manager said, this is a manager, uh, I believe he's not even hired by Scott Rail anymore, he doesn't work for anyone, he was fired to put an assistant. <laughs> um, he, he said, how hard can being a guard be? All it is is pressing a button. So, when he's actually um, a guard <laughs> for a service, he dispatches it, he allows the train to go on a red signal. Oh, he didn't get, he locked the door, shut the door, gave the driver to the buzzer, the driver yeah. didn't acknowledge it, and then the guy reported him. Yeah. And that, people, is in national press, so yeah. If you can find the article, if you can find it, we'll put a link in the description, but yeah. So yeah, it's like, oh yeah, shut the door, you can give the right, you right away, basically, you the buzzer, and you yeah. might have heard if you step back on the train, you might hear, <coughs> or wherever, or ping ping wherever yeah. you are in the country. Basically, that is the guard at the back of the train table driver. It's safe that all station duties are complete, department ready. In other words, it's safe to be station. Do that at a red signal, which means danger. You're well, not safe to depart, thus yeah. you shouldn't give it. If you do give it, you'll be in quite a lot of trouble. You're basically even in violation of the rule book. So, there you go. And he got himself in a lot of trouble and now no longer works for Scott Rail. Oh, he got fired? I think so. I like what was suspended um, in death. I heard he was taken off suspended um, posts in investigation. I hope he was fired. I, 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 he may have been or suspended. Or well, well, best demoted. Oh, yeah. Well, demoted to platform duties. Yeah, he managed to do a job start at the bottom and learn it properly. Exactly. Yeah, I see it anyway. I mean, what people, about this DIO thing, I know we're just going way off topic here, but about this DIO thing, what people don't realise is, oh, we don't see the guys at all, that's because trains are, most of the trains in the United Kingdom are DOD services, rather operate door services, the guards still play for all the best. Yeah, it's like, like anyone, anyone who travels out of Stanford with Chilton on the, uh, what are the two services in the morning, this is 7, uh, it's 7, 28, 23. Yeah, I think so. You ring your travel on those into London, then you basically have the old DMUs, and then there is a guard on there, but the guards only take the train as far as Banbury. Yeah. After that, there's a DOO. And it's kind of a, I don't know, it's an edgy feeling, you say like that. Yeah. Well, the guard, you don't really see, really see the guard, after Banbury, you don't see a guard at all. Yeah. And the issue people forget here is that it's not who opens the, the door, the guard is in charge of the safety of that train. And keeping you informed what's going on and making sure you're okay. And on that note, I have to bring up what happened a couple of weeks back, two weeks back now. I can't remember what night it was. I was coming back on my Chilton train. I, was, I got out of work. I was going out and I thought, oh, I was like, no, was it work? Was it meeting someone? I can't remember. Anyway, I went to the, the earlier one, the, nine, the Melbourne train in front of me was running a bit late. Yep. And as a result of being late, there was lots of people on the platform, so I thought, you know what, I'll wait in two minutes and get the Chilton train. Yeah. Because quieter, nicer seats, and free Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, so, going along, get to the other side of the train we need before the level crossing, and come go any further. Now, the guard was able to tell what was going on, because he had access to his mobile phone, to keep in contact, yeah. and reassure people. Basically, the train in front, the one I missed, went round the corner into live station and found a bike that some kind person left on the tracks 
hit it and got it where Jinder Cody was trying. Oh, I heard about this. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, because I, I put in that group conversation. Now I heard about it through internally as well. Yeah, I put it in now inter no, internally the guard, emails. The guard there, reassuring me what's going on. And because you've got a guard there to tell you what's going on, to make sure you're safe, you feel better. Yeah. You're in that situation, imagine that with no guard. Now the driver, you say, oh, the driver is going on. The driver in there has to secure his train, make sure the section is clear, and the age of the signal as to what is going on. That's what a driver has to do. The driver has to get instructions for the people controlling the signals as to where he is going next. Yeah. Meaning, as much as you've got a driver might want to make an announcement, he can't be doing that because he's got to listen to the radio with a line all clear and to carry on. Is that? But he can tell the guard, I mean, most of the time the guards go to drive the town what's going on. If there's only find what's going on, and you're sat there, then if all you're going to do is you're going to get annoyed. And yep. after a while, you're going to get panicked. Yep. And you get what happened down in London on the FCC train where the driver was trying to fit the signal to make plans to go ahead or what was going on next. Yep. And everyone, someone pulled one of the green handles on board. And for God's sake, don't do this. Pull the handle, jumped out, and started walking up the tunnel. Oh, God, I heard about that one as well. Yeah. Because of the report on the IOIB website about it, we went out to an investigation branch. Yeah. Basically goes down to people's stupidity. I don't understand what people do to do that. You're on a train, you're somewhere safe. You're, you're on a train, you're safe. So what's all do you do? This kid off the walk up the tunnel where he's dangerous. No, what, is it, it, what is with people? This means they have to leave a position of safety and go to an end. Why? I mean, there's, there's that you know stupidity of doing it, but then there's. This is a completely different thing where you know it's maybe an incident like a police incident happening outside. You have a lot of people just standing around with their mobile phones, you know, what filming the incident a bit on Facebook. Oh, that annoys me, man. Like, that annoys. But, but you see someone with engine danger, you film it. Do you not think we yeah. use your mobile phone and call the police? Well, the police are already on scene. The police would rather someone to fucking throw down their mobile phone and come help them than to film the incident and send yeah. it to the media. The North really annoys me is that I find these other people driving along, there's in, we're driving along, and I'm probably in a crash scene, and someone in front of them decides to slow down and have a look. Oh, yes, that annoys me. Oh, what? God. Why? Why the hell would you want to stop, slow down, and look at the scene of an accident? Uh, do you actually, this will be actually get drilled, and actually get some enjoyment, some turn off, and look at the blood scene and smashes. Yeah, he can. Are people sick enough to get enjoyment and thrill out of that? Yeah. Blame the noise about this. This is disgusting. Carry on. Right. It'd be great when so no one's dead. It's like, oh, look, no, there's blood there and bodies. It's really interesting. Sick because I said it. Yeah, I think now we should. Um, we should change the subject to something a little bit more happier. Uh, <laughs> have we gone through the entire list of stuff to discuss? Uh. Apart from potentially playing cards against humanity. Um, but that's not really happening, is it? Well, it could be. If I, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's, that's the guarantee of this. What's the, um, the browser version? Like, it's, it's Izzy or something like that, right? I don't know. I'm not playing the browser version. I'm going to Google it. I don't know this one. Send your ex Izzy or something like that. Yeah, hang on. Or just Google cards against humanity. Right? Or you could just uh, let me do that. <laughs> there you are, I'm the online thing. Google. There you go. When in doubt, Google. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that one. Right, I'm going to put, enable um, voice activation so I can actually do so. That's all the new We're not actually going well. to play this now, are we? What's that, sorry? Oh, we could. Suppose we could, we haven't been to this as if we haven't been to this enough in this conversation. Not at all. Um, <laughs> we haven't actually. And I think this scenario's broke, so I'm gonna quit right, that. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> go into the server and I'm gonna try and create a game. If that's the case, just we'll just insert a picture of a kitten or something. <laughs> yes. Du, 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 du. I don't know. That's game. That's bloody Seven Nation Army. That is. <laughs> du, I the kittens. Oh no, Twitter's gone off, Twitter's gone off, Twitter's gone off. Don't worry, it's fine. It's someone else. Create oh, game. Um, 
Oh, we just have. Oh, oh no, Jordan's gone back into Euro Trouble Eva tonight. Oh. He's getting a bit late. We should have just hold the game in the game, you know. Try and get oh, more people yeah. in as well, you know. Just, just, you know, three of us is going to be easy. Oh, yeah, we not. could. Go put more people in, just see exactly what we can crack out with. True. What more? I'm just messing around to see what, you know, if I could actually set password or something to it. <laughs> a password? A password, yeah, which I can. It's a Somerset accent. Wah, wah. Um. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I hate how I have to bloody. I'm going slightly mad. Oh no, Twitter's oh, not God. being. No, it's fine. It's fine, it's still fine. I'm still going fine. slightly mad. Yeah. Right. So give me, give me, give me fried chicken. Oh God. <laughs> what? But is actually a line in that song. If it is. Like to so to give me, give me, give me fried chicken vision. He goes fried chicken vision, vision, vision. If you don't believe us? Go and listen to it. It is actually in there. And outside the box. And right. How do I? How do you uh, want? Oh, I have to wait for players, do I? Uh, right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, on team speed. currently breaking the internet. Wait, we're not recording now, are we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shall we wrap it up anyway? Oh, yeah, we've discussed enough. Do we find a happy topic to end on? Because I thought we'd um, boobies. Uh, boobies. I'll just find what? somewhere to park up. Boobies. A decent place <laughs> to park up. <laughs> <laughs> Boob yeah, yeah, there's a t happy topic to end on. Boobies. <laughs> Just now I've got your attention. <laughs> <laughs> now I have your attention. It's time to tell about my plan to invade the north. <laughs> invade Where? the north? To invade the south, even. Oh, I. Yeah. Basically, we all the way with giant wooden badges. Aye. Uh, right, the link I've just posted in is um the link to the actual. Pretend you're ex, is he? Can't get humanity. Um, <laughs> the fun for what? Uh, pretend you're ex, is he? Can't get humanity. It's just about being juicy, man. I thought I'd beg your pardon. <laughs> I thought was this topic of conversation really going down the pan. <laughs> My middle finger's got right. I mean, you already it. talked about getting wetter. You know, going to the. <laughs> oh. oh. On that note, oh. I think it's time to end. I'm gonna end the video. Thank you very I'm much for watching. <laughs> Has Jordan I'm actually parked up yet? Or not? I'm just parking up now. Well. Just I'm just parking up in a yard. Just hey, so why do you want to park in the yard? Uh, I, I think this up. is, um, as, as Callum has said, a good That's place it. to end tonight. Thank you very right. much for watching us all. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Thank you for thank you for joining us and wherever this was. Updates on my potential Twitter demise will be posted on the Twitter page. So if you want to find out what happens to me, at, well, if nothing happens at all, if anything happens, do you want to know what we're up to next? At BCPYT2016. I think that's right. Anyway, we'll put a link to the that's description right. anyway. <laughs> hey! And we've got a Facebook page. We do put posts on there, so you can go there. Appreciate our new mascot. Yep, Sir Bob of Fishbowl. Sir Bob of Fishbowl, yep. indeed. <laughs> so, yeah. So, until then, I have to make a huge thank you to Callum Steenmeister Reed. Woo. Woof, yeah. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> yes, I do actually. Blackadder. Oh, Blackadder, yes. that was a great uh, show. Yeah, well, right, can we wrap this up now, please? <laughs> yeah, we are wrapping up. I'm just going there, you know, shut up. Well, also, get a huge quicker. thank you to Mr. my co host, Mr. Dawn Harris. Thank you, I'll see you all soon. Yep, so until next time, it's good night for me and it's good night for them. Good night. Woo! Good night. Bye!